as piano players, we all know that we have a couple of fingers that tend to give us a lot of problems because they are on the weaker side. These are our fingers four and five. In this very short video, I wanna talk about why they're weak and give you four ways to improve your finger strengths, particularly for number four. So if you wouldn't mind doing a little exercise with me, so just rest your right hand on some platform, whether that's on your piano or on your arm or something like that. What I want you to do is to keep all your fingers down and let's try now to move your thumb up and down. This is your finger one up and down like this, whilst keeping two, three, four, five down. Okay, let's try number two now. So now it's one, three, four, five down and moving number two. Let's try number three now. And now to number four. Now you should be feeling some difficulty with this one. This is a very annoying one to do. And finally, number five. As you could feel, number four was significantly harder than the rest of the fingers. Without getting too much into the details in our hand and finger anatomy, number four is a really unfortunate one that lacks a lot of finger independence by default because it is really connected to our three and our five. So as you did this exercise, you would have felt that number four was extremely hard to sort of lift up much past around here. I find that with piano beginners, they can't even really go past around this, like one or two centimeters. But with some practice, you can go you know, between maybe three to four to five centimeters. Let's move on to some solutions now. The first exercise I have for you today is the fingers down exercise. This is just like the little example we just did, but now on piano. So if you put your one, two, three, four, five, let's just say on the C position. So if you hold all of them down, and now you're gonna to try to just play number one. Like this. If you're a beginner, I recommend just crotch your beats, bum, 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 bum. If you are intermediate or advanced, perhaps you can try something harder like bum, 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 bum. So let's try them going up and down. This will be really helpful for all your fingers, but in particular, number four, this will build lots and strength and control for that. So try this one with your right and left hand. Let me know in the comments how you go for it. Second exercise I have for you is to trill with our fingers four. A trill needs to have two notes, so you can trill with either three, four, or four and five. So pick any note on the piano. Today I'm just gonna pick D and E, and if we do three and four, it'll sound something like this. You should try also four and five. Sometimes just doing the trills can sound a little bit boring. So I recommend you, if you wanna keep it a little interesting, maybe play some left-hand chords with that too. For example. If you're a right-hander like me, make sure to never ever forget to practice finger strength and control for four on your left hand too, because this is significantly harder. So if I show you the trill on three and four for both hands, I can try to keep them in sync, but I can tell you for sure that the left hand is having a much harder time than the right. And you should of course also do four and five. See, it got a little out of time at the end there, particularly in the left hand because it was a lot weaker and now you need to build more control for that one. Exercise three are things you probably already are doing in your piano routine, but it is to repeat three and four within the scales you're practicing. We're gonna use C major just for easy sake. So let's say I wanna practice getting better control and strength for my right hand's four, I might do something like this. you want to create this variation in your scale practice is because of this. Now in most of your scales that you play on the piano, the fingering sequence is usually something like one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Okay, or let's say in F major, it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three. But let's just say for the most of them, it's one, two, three, one, two, three, four. 
and repeat. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. So which one of these numbers are repeated? As you can see, one is repeated, two is repeated, three is repeated, but four only gets one shot to practice in each octave. So it's kind of a sad thing where the one, twos and threes are by default already the strongest fingers and they get to practice twice for every octave. And poor fourth finger is the weakest one, but yet it doesn't have the opportunity to, let's say, train more. So I create these variations for my own practice and for my students to allow number four to have more chance to kind of work and train itself. Let's try one for the left hand now. Exercise number four would be Hannon. Now all the Hannon exercises are gonna be good for building control, speed, strength, and dexterity. But if we wanna work on our fingers four and five, there are certain exercises in Hannon that are particularly better for that. Today, I would like to draw your attention to number two and three. Number two sounds like this. Number three sounds like this. Numbers two and three are not the only ones that isolate four a little bit better. The reason I pick numbers two and three, you can also look for other exercises in Hannon that work on four more. The way you do that is just look at the first bar in the right hand and look for the exercises where four is repeated at least twice. For example, in number two, here it happens once and second time here. So left hand will have its turn to practice playing number four twice on the way down, but on the way up, it's gonna be for the right hand. So again, just look at the right hand, look for exercises that have the fingers four twice in the first bar. So you have that extra chance to train it. A tip I have for beginners and intermediate pianists as well is to try to accent the four when it comes. I want you to do this because when you are required to accent a note, you're working on the skill to kind of lift the finger up as much as you can before striking it down. This is a really good exercise to build strength and control. So in conclusion, here are some really quick ways to work on fingers number four. You have the finger downs exercise, you have the trilling on three, four, or four, five, you have practicing just your normal scales. However, you make a little variation where you repeat the three, four a few times before you go to the next octave. And finally, practice Hannon. Any Hannon exercise is gonna be good for piano technique, but if you wanna work on four, look for the exercises where in the first bar of the right hand, finger four happens to play two or more times. Let me know in the comments how you go with these exercises. Let me know as well what your piano questions are. 90% of our piano tutorials come from your comments and questions. Catch you in the next one.